Hi parents, MOE has recently reviewed the P1 registration framework and this will be in effect starting from 2022. In sgschooling.com, we have created a mock of the 2021 data, which is this year's data, using the 2022 new framework. So with this mock, you will have a few of the number of vacancies and applicants using the new framework. I highly recommend that you check it out. In this video, I'll highlight the consequences that the new changes will bring to each phase. To recap, there are three big changes. One, they now reserve 40 vacancies for phase 2C. Two, they merge the alumni and former students phases. Three, they enlarge the home radius for homeschool distance. I will now discuss how that affects for each phase. For phase one, it will not affect even though there's 20 lesser places. That's because there's enough for the current students' population. In the new Phase 2A, it's, it's merging the Phase 2A1, which is the alumni group, and 2A2, which is the former students' group. The alumni group, they are the worst hit. That's because with the merge phases with the former students, they now probably need to go into balloting. And what's more, a lot of these alumni members, I, my guess is that they don't even stay within the one kilometer or two kilometers to the school. They might be staying outside two kilometers, but they can get in previously because there's always a lot of vacancies and it never ever go into balloting. What's more, the alumni paid a membership that could range from 200 to $1,000. So it's like, pay the full run you to ping. Let's take a look at the hottest alumni school in the former phase 2A1. Here you'll see that St. Nick is the hottest alumni school and they are already one and a half times oversubscribed. With the new framework, they will now be even worse because former students will now apply. Let's also look at Nanyang Primary. Their alumni membership is $1,000 for a lifetime. So with 150 applicants, that means there are 150 alum, alumni members. That means in a year, they are earning $150,000. So with this change, the schools are also affected because they now bring in less rev. They will probably bring in less revenue since there's no reason to join the alumni. As for the former students group, they are one. They are they stand to benefit because now they will be in an earlier phase together with the alumni. They are actually on par now, with no discrimination whether you pay or you never pay the membership. Moving on to phase 2B, there are still 20 vacancies reserved for 2B, but there will now be lesser places available because the overflow from 2A will be only one third. The other two thirds will go to 2C. So for schools that need to ballot during the phase 2B, they will now be even more heated. As for phase 2C, they now re increase the reserve vacancy from 20 to 40. So there are 20 more vacancies. In that sense, there's a higher chance of you securing a place. But you have to remember, in 2A and 2B, there, the parents who fail to get a place in 2A and 2B, they will try again in 2C. So in that sense, the number of applicants will increase by the same amount. Take Northland as an example. In the previous framework, there is 28 vacancies and 191 applicants. So there's a 15% chance of securing a place in 2C. With the new framework, our mock results estimated that there will be 40 vacancies, but 204 applicants. That means there's a 20% chance of securing a place. Chongfu is similar. So with the old framework, 26%. New framework, 30 32%. So comparing that, there's actually a, around a 5% increase in chance in phase 2C. But, another but, we have not account for the larger 1km, 2km radius. It becomes larger because now they are using the boundary of the school instead of that one single point of a school. So for larger school, the, the, the radius will actually be even larger. I roughly would estimate that there will be 10% more applicants because of that larger radius. Surprisingly, my, for my old house in Yishun, suddenly it's now within Chongfu, one kilometer. And my new house right now, also in Yishun, it's also suddenly becomes within one kilometer of Chongfu. Hmm. To conclude, this change by MOE is a small step, but in the right direction. Because alumni has largely been paying for the membership 
in order to secure a P1 place, which is not right. In my opinion, even the former students has not much reason to be in phase 2A. Perhaps one day we will cap 2A, or we will even move 2B parent volunteer before 2A, because at least as parent volunteer you are contributing to the school. But for former students, it is just because you have you used to study in the school. But that's not much of a reason. This is a very hard problem that MOE has to tackle and no matter what solution they come up with, there will always be someone who is there to complain. Lastly, however important a primary school is, remember, it is not final, far from it.